Sheldred as a 4-drop. Like, watch how much damage this is going to be. Negative 11. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay. And tonight, we have a very special treat for you tonight. Oh, my goodness. A treat that has been years in the making. A delicacy of blood and death. Because, as you may know, Vito lives. And we are here in MTG Arena, Ixalan, Early Access, Caverns of Ixalan, Early Access, with the Orza Vampire deck that you know I'm going to do. You know I'm going to do. And, of course, featuring our best friend, the blood of the wicked himself, Vito. The new Vito, fanatic of Aklazots. So we are going to be looking at this um, token sacrifice vampire gain and drain, ultra drain. Oh, man, it's madness. You got to stick around for this one. Uh, before we get down to this one, before we get into the nitty gritty, the nuts and bolts of this one, the blood and guts, uh, I need you to do something for me, which is, of course, tenderly press that like button gently press that subscribe button because if you don't you will be attacked by the like and subscribe and that of course is a youtube werewolf who will viciously maul you for not liking and subscribing to the channel um and joining us here in the villains today you want to join the villains we're doing great stuff here check out our uh, twitch twitch.tv stream every night at twitch.tv slash that villain day for a live stream of goodness i'm so excited i jumped over twitch um yeah, check out our Twitch. If you want to catch us live on YouTube, we also go live on YouTube. And hit that bell. We'll follow us there. Check out our Discord. We do have a Discord where you can post your decks, talk to me, ask questions. Everything is there. It's a very cool place. And, of course, this deck and all the other decks that I build are available down below on my Aether Hub. Um, if this one is not on my Aether Hub, I'll put the exact deck list in the description. So go right down there and check it out. So what are we talking about with Vito Vampires, Gain and Drain, Tokens, Madness here? Well... We're going to start out with the Rune Lurker Bat. We want to gain life in this. That's going to be pretty important. Rune Lurker Bat is a pretty good opener. It's a one drop, one, one, flying and lifelink. I realize it's not a vampire, but it's vampire adjacent, right? Um, and then at the beginning of your end step, if you descended this turn, um, uh, you scry one. What does it mean to scry one? Uh, what does it mean to descend? If you've lost, if a permanent has been put into your graveyard from anywhere you've descended so you do get that scry so that's a little life linker um i court drinker yeah we have a little bit of vampire from the phyrexia set the invasion set one black one one life link then of course we can exile i court drinker and incubate two to make a pod then we can of course create the pod into the incubation token why do we want that well this one can come back and then be sacrificed again it has um it has the ability to be multiple played uh multiply played and sacrifice and again we want multiple types of sacrifice to go off here so it's very useful not dead after all a great way to protect your cards from direct removal board wipes or something like that if it dies it comes back i really like this one and it comes back as um wicked it has the wicked roll so that's plus one plus one and then if the wicked roll goes in the graveyard they lose one life building onto the gain and drain aspect very cool stuff right there and i also love the idea of making the wicked veto Yes, and the Vampire Demon. So um, that's what we're going to be doing, not dead after all. Also, it's great for sacrificing games. You can do this, sacrifice somebody, and they immediately come back. So the sacrifice was not in vain. Uh, destroy evil. Absolutely. Uh, destroy target creature of four or more. Very useful for our big dino buddies that are going to be attacking. Or we can destroy an enchantment, which is also very useful. Fine. Great stuff. Fateful Absence. Yeah, I went with that. Now I know what people are going to say. Um, I know people are going to say, how come you didn't do Get Lost? I have found that I played Get Lost and it kind of backfired. Giving people map tokens was really useful. Now, if you want to go full, full force on that one and do the Get Lost, that's fine as well. Um, if you want to do something like, um, any other kind of destroy, yeah, that's fine too. Bitter Triumph, sure, you can do new stuff, Infernal Grasp, any kind of other removal, that's fine too. Fateful Absence just happened to be the useful one, especially for planes walk. Vanguard of the Rose. If you didn't see the podcast about the top 10 cards, and why didn't you? Uh, it's very good. Uh, one white and one three one 
Vampire Knight. You pay one, uh, you sacrifice another creature or artifact, the Vanguard of the Rose gains indestructible into the end of turn, and you tap it. So we have a perpetual sacrifice outlet right there, something that can sacrifice over and over and over again. Uh, as long as you can pay and it gains indestructibility so it can't be targeted with direct removal burn anything like that it's andanto vanguard at home as you may or may not know it's a vanguard of the rose right here very cool uh very useful card now when it comes to sacrificing we better get a vampire payoff for that that's why we have vran executioner thane um one black and one two two Vamp Phyrexian Vampire, legendary creature. Whenever one or more creatures you control die, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. It only triggers once a turn. That's fine, that's enough. But don't forget, as you'll see that I did um, at one game later on, if you wanna wait and see, this triggers each turn. So if you sacrifice on your turn, you sacrifice on your opponents, uh, you can get gain and drain each time. So we are setting up the gain and drain and sacrifice build. Amelia Benavidas Aguirre. Classic Orzov drop, black and white, 2-2. Our lovely, nerdy vampire scout. Could we love her anymore? Ward 3. Ward 3 pay life is very, um, is very, I mean, ward pay 3 life is very powerful. That is a huge defense. If you want to drop a 2-2, uh, you have to pay 3 life. Extremely useful. And then whenever you gain life, she explores. And then if she has a, all, uh, destroy all the creatures, if her power is exactly 20. Never got triggered that yet. I don't think that we ever will. However, she does get powerful enough. What does Explore do? Reveal the top card of your library. Put that card in your hand, unless it's a land. If it's a land. Otherwise, put a 1-1 counter creature on your... Put a 1-1 counter, then put the card back into your graveyard. Um, so you basically can put it into your graveyard or back on top of your library. If it's a land, you get the land. And that's what Exploration does. Um, so she will explore every time that we lose a creature... Every time that we hit with Rune, uh, Rune Lurker or Iker Drinker, she's going to go off right there. Very cool. Speaking of Sacrifice Outlast, this guy is awesome. Look at this guy. Just look at the drip on this guy. Literal blood drip. Bless this sinner who sacrificed his blood so that I may live. Oh, yeah. He's getting it. He's getting it. He knows that through the blood of the wicked we shall be redeemed, right? One black and white. Classic Orzov. 2-1. Sacrifice another creature um, or artifact. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on Bartolome del Presidio. Um, I guess I got to put the more Spanish -y names on them. Uh, Amelia Benavidas Aguirre. Um, so I got to do the Spanish -y Portuguese names. So yeah, great Vampire Knight right there. Again, just a constant permanent uh, uh, sacrifice. You can just constantly sacrifice creatures to that, which is going to, of course, go very, very well with the Veto build. Wedding Announcement. Yeah, it is in the theme of vampires. It creates 1-1 one -one tokens of, of humans. But guess what the humans are there for? They're there to be the food, okay? We're not using humans to attack. We're using them to eat. Uh, one white and two enchantment. Whenever the beginning of your end step, put an invitation counter. If you attack with two or more, you get to draw a card. Otherwise, you create a one one white creature token. And then, of course, three, it transforms into the wedding festivities right there, which, of course, will give one one to everybody. Fantastic stuff right there. Vampiring out as we do. Everyone's like, why does the vampire... Why does the vampire are make human tokens yeah they're the food man we need them for blood sweet blood now here's another one that just she just made sense ayara widow of the realm two black and one three three sacrifice another creature artifact ayara widow of the realm deals x damage to target opponent or battle and you gain x life where the x is a sacrifice permanence mana value um amazing amazing card right here especially if we're doing gain and drain i know she's technically rakdos I'm not running Rakdos. I don't really care. I'll pay the two life to transform. It's actually faster. Then at the beginning of combat on your turn, return up to one target creature uh, or artifact from your graveyard to the battlefield. It gains haste, exile at the next step. Really good stuff if you do transform her. I don't really ever do it. I just like to sacrifice people and drain and gain off that, especially when we're going to get the uh, the abilities, the stacked abilities you're going to see at the end. Um, Preacher of the Schism, one black and two. Vampire Cleric, 2-4, Death Touch. Whenever Preacher of the Schism attacks, the player with the most life, or tied for the most life, creates a 1-1 one, one Vampire Creature token with life. Like, very cool Vampire Creature with like these chains of candles on them. When Vampire Creature the Tekken attacks, when you have the most life or tied for the most life, you draw a card and you lose one life. So you really do want to um, have the most life. You do want a life gain off this one. Make sure that you are when you attack. Uh, it will give you the vampires back, but it'll also it'll also um, 
give you that extra card for the sacrifice as well. So not bad preacher schism. Only two of them are, f are fine for you right there. Oh, here's what you've been waiting for, guys. The two most powerful cards that we have going on here. This is absolutely S tier. Blood Letter of Aklazots. Just, oh, I'm sorry. I have to whisper this one. The Blood Letter of Aklazots. Oh my goodness. This card, three black and one, four, two, flying uh, vampire demon. Anything better. If your an opponent would lose life during this turn, they lose twice as much. Damage causes life loss. All that life gain and drain that we were doing, guess what? Double it. If you have two of these, double it and double it. You don't quadruple it, but you do double and then you double again. So if it's two, it's four. If it's a two and you have two of them out, it's four and then four again. I think it is quadrupled actually. Um, it is absolutely, I cannot tell you how powerful the blood letter is. It, in, in a world where there's four drop Shaildreds, um, this is absolutely fighting for that spot because this just absolutely puts damage down like you wouldn't believe. Especially when you're doing direct gain and drain like through Bartolome and Vran um, and Ayara when you're just doing that direct damage you don't even interact with them. You're just sacrificing things and making them lose life and lose life and lose life. Blood Letter makes that life loss even more. Doing damage makes that life loss even more. Unbelievably dangerous. And on top of that, if all those sacrifices aren't enough, here he is, folks. Vito, fanatic of Aklazots, the thorn of the Dusk Rose himself. One black, one white, and two. Four, four, flying vampire demon. Um... Whenever you sacrifice another permanent, you gain two life. If this is the first time this ability has resolved. If it's the second time, each opponent loses two life. And if it's the third time, create a 4-3 vampire, white and black vampire demon creature token with flying. So all we need is to hit three sacrifices and we can ultra trigger the gain, the drain, and drop them with the vampire uh, demon flying to sacrifice right there unbelievably awesome vampire demon combo right here that's why you have all these great sacrifices and again while we're sacrificing we're gaining and draining life we're gaining and draining sacrifices it is the the literal deck acts like a vampire so that's the important part right there um amazing stuff caravan of souls uh, cavern of souls you're going to want to add as a new card to stop your pesky little counter spells you're going to either want to put demon or vampire on it um Shattered Sanctum, Restless Fortress, Caves of Koilos, that's what we're looking at. 27 creatures altogether. Uh, 23 of them are vampires. The other ones are bats, clerics, demon elves, knights, scouts, nobles, Phyrexians. Uh, that's what you do. Six instants, three enchantments, 24 lands altogether. 2.4 with the 24, that's what we're looking at. Pretty even between black and white. We have our cool dino backs on here right now. Um, that's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, pretty even as, as it goes. As, as again, here's the sideways view. For those of you who like Team Horizontal, Team Vertical, there you go. Again, maybe some more removal that you want, better triumph. I, if this was sacrifice, I'd probably do it. Uh, but it's destroy target creature or planeswalker. You have to discard a card or, uh, pay three life. So, eh, I mean, it's fine. This is just destroy target creature and lose two life, but this one targets a planeswalker as well. And get lost, I feel like it's backfired on me, honestly, but it's not a bad card altogether. So this is it, guys. This is the, my Veto Vampire gain and drain combo build right here. Vampires, demons, all the good stuff. Make sure to like, leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this one. Are you excited for it? I am, you can hear in my voice, I am super stoked for this set. This set is so much fun. It has so much power. It is extremely enjoyable. Highly recommend getting back into Ixalan. Here we go into some games. We were just playing some goblins. Let's get to Vito Lives. Starting to give out a little bit. So I've got to, I'm going to be running tonight again. So uh, if you're not on my, uh, if you're not on my Twitch, go join my Twitch. It'll be on YouTube as well. But um, we are going to take a little break. Um, cookies, I mean, you can just go on Scryfall and look them up. It's not that, it's not that hard. I, I guess so. Ubel's T4R.
This guy gets lowered in by rope, by the way. I don't know if you've seen that yet, but it's the best ever. Rotation didn't happen, Jimmy Sai. There was no rotation. Didn't happen. Alchemy, that's it. Brute Coil Creeper. Hit. This is a press account, Mr. Grinch. So, Wizards of the Coast gives me a special account that works for 24 hours that has functionally unlimited funds. So I can preview it for y'all. That's the idea. It's a fairy who slows the game. Ubel Star. Uel. Uebel Star. Put one of them in your hand. Millennium Calendar. Interesting. Mass destroy, probably. Probably a mass destroy. They don't really like you going beyond turn four or turn five. Teferi slows the game. I'm shocked. Double the amount of counters. She's one up. Okay, so oh, he's trying to get to that hunt to that thousand. Choose one, untap it. There you go. Bramble familiar. Uh, blood letter is going to just finish him off. It's not really going to matter. Wait, why can't he take damage? Oh, there we go. I was going to say that. I was like, did he have the one ring or something? It didn't pop. Oh, yeah, it's double. Actually, it was quadruple. So you can see how blood letter becomes a very a problem very quickly. It becomes an issue. Yeah. Fallout set coming. I'm excited about that one. Yeah, I don't think it's coming to. I don't think it's coming to uh, Arena though, is it? I don't think it's coming to Arena. Hey, look who it is! The triple color king, man. I know they said Jurassic Park isn't coming. Is is Fallout coming? I don't think because I don't think it's a full set. Class gasket.
Yep, Cavern of Souls. That's going to... Listen, these control players, man, they're going to learn. They're going to learn, man. Counterspelling is going to save you every time. There he goes. He saw it. He saw it. Okay. Board wipe. Big kill. No? Gnome soldiers? Okay. Stone and weak stone, very cool. Totally should swing, absolutely. Candy trail. Scry. So, all I gotta do is attack with Restless Fortress and he dies. Beginning of pre-combat, you may tap five untapped. He made that. Master's Hall. Okay, so Cavern of Souls is gonna be a vampire. I'm gonna make that guy. Boom. He's out of there. Bye, Sways. It was good seeing you, man. Yeah, they'll get some cosmetics in Arena. But um, I don't think they're going to get the full set. The full set they're going to get this year is the Final Fantasy one. That's what you should be excited about. Next year, like in June or whatever, uh, that's what we're going to get is Final Fantasy. Hey, Animal, how you doing, man, by the way? Um... Oh, shit, it's Brew Lab, everybody. Um, rest is Fortress, Coilos. What did he pick? He picked Angel. Okay. Invasion of Gobakai. That was Sways, yeah. I fought I fought Hamhawks. I fought um MTG Malone. Um I fought uh, who else? Um, couple, couple big people. Hmm, okay, let's do Restless Fortress. Destroy. Yes, I vampired him to death. It was, uh, it certainly was something that happened. Let's do vampire. Get Lost is good. It gives them a huge re resource. That explore thing is very powerful. Boom. 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 Restless Fortress. Restless Fortress, do your thing. You got vampired, buddy. There's no shame in it. There's 
no shame in it. It, it, it it's good. I, I like it, but even playing it in the dinosaur deck that I did previously, it gives you it gives them a two map tokens, which are very useful. Like honestly, the one card draw that you get from uh, what you call it is uh is is good. But ooh, guardian guardian the great door, very nice. All right. Yeah, I saw people speculating it was because you need creatures to use map tokens. You get to see a lot more cards, don't you? Um, yeah, I mean, if you have creatures, this one tonight, I'm probably going to maybe look at an angel, a Boros angel. There's a couple other builds. I'm definitely going to run the fungus deck. We're going to be playing tonight, and we're going to be playing tomorrow morning. So uh, don't... Don't don't worry, you're not getting it. It's one James. <laughs> there, he's right here. He's very good. When you can get the sacks off, he's very good. But you have to get those sacks off. I I think you really to make him to make him uh, to make him the most effective. You've got to run sacks. You got to run heavy sacks. Heavy thick boy sacks. There's gonna be a fungus among us. Oh my god, cookies! I did, and that one was completely by accident. I did not mean to do that one. Bitter triumph, man. He had to pay. Man, he had to pay a lot of fucking life for that. Holy shit! Boom, pop, descend. Oh, he looks another veto. I don't need it. Boom. Best thing, he's he's a combo piece. He's as he always has been. He's not good on his own, but if you have the stuff going on where you can run repeated sacrifices over and over and over again, he's definitely gonna do do a body good. Let's do that. Let's do Vito. How long have you been playing Magic? I've been playing since Tempest that was released. Won a huge tournament in 2000, the Goblin Burn deck, believe it or not. I've been playing Magic since Revised. Um, Bloodletter is an MVP, by the way, Dumbskull. Holy shit. Bloodletter just flat out wins you games. Like, the fact that you double hit people is just, is absurd, you know? Yeah, Bloodletter, blo Bloodletter fucks, man. Bloodletter fucks. Like right now, if he doesn't kill me, I'm gonna lay Bloodletter down and kill him. Doesn't doesn't really matter because I can hit him for four. One of these can go through, hit him for four, and he'll be all right. Sacrifice. Boom, 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 boom. All right. I think he's kind of screwed here. I think he's, yeah, he's boned. Yeah, I, I would say, like, as as sad as it is when we're talking about, I mean, Orzhov is good, but Mono Black, Bloodletter is going to be competing with um, Sheldred as a four drop. Like, watch how much damage this is going to be. Negative 11. Like, that's... That's bad, bro. That's a bad... That's a bad time burger right there. Maybe we'll do a draft later, too. Alright, guys. Getting into vampires. Let's see if we can score some vampire wins.
All right, we're in. Val Pilvip. Pilvip. Come on, Pilvip. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Hmm. Go vampire. Show me what you got. I mostly like her. She's a vampire on the board. She does help explore. But the fact that we can... Um, uh, the fact that we have to force people to pay life to, to do something to her is very good. Veto. Veto, veto, vampire. Priest of the Schism. No attacks. Why is he going to target here? Okay, so now he's frozen. Might stone in weak zone, naturally. Probably gonna kill Schism. Oh, he drew cards. Okay, that's interesting. Iron Craig again. All right, he's ramping probably to the the finale there, to whatever that's called. Get lost. Boom. Probably trying to cast uh, Portal to Phyrexia, I'd assume. Get lost, naturally. Steal Sarah, very nice, another one. might try to kill me again, but that's okay. We're going to use not dead it after all. Thunder spider. No, Thran spider. Thunder spider. He's here for you. He's a thunder spider. He's going to take it to the max. Thunder spider. Th -th -th thunder spider. All right, let's do that. It's really funny because, you know, I Google a lot of things magic, so Google Analytics has me uh, down as, oh, this is somebody who likes magic cards, obviously. Um, and uh, one of the things that happens is that it'll be like, it's been giving me um, messages, hey, you come see your favorite streamers, uh, premiere the new set it, all the time, like, it gives, I get ads all the time, like, yeah, you really want to see your favorite streamers um, do the stuff that they do. Don't you? Don't you want to see them? You love streamers. Come watch Early Access with us.
which is kind of funny. Magmatic Galleon. Deals five creature, five damage to a creature and opponent controls. The blood letter is a dangerous one. Yeah, my the, my phone because I have MTG on my phone. Obviously, just sent me a push notification. Hey, uh, y you want to come watch your favorite streamers play Early Access? It's going on right now. I'm like, thanks, phone. You're trying your best, man. That's great. Good good for you, phone. You're really working on it, aren't you? The funniest thing is I'll, I'll, leave, my, I'll leave my phone on autoplay, and it'll just start playing myself which is I'm like watching videos or something and it's just on in the background and then one of my own videos comes on. It's like, yeah, we are out of playing this because you obviously like this. Don't you like yourself? Boom, pop. Aklazots. Vanguard of the Rose. I'll take Vanguard of the Rose. You gotta block. You gotta block them both, unfortunately. My dude, you gotta block them both. Oh my goodness, you didn't even get to see how bad the dinosaurs, well, not bad, but amazing. They petered out in the end, but bro, when I hit, when I hit the dinos, bro, when I hit dinos, bro, 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 it fucking went off. I heard you're getting a job for cookies. Just a guy who knows a guy that knows a guy, huh? You can't believe in it. Yeah, I know. It's crazy that they made an entire uh, MTG set built around Trex. They literally made a Trexodactyl. It's a... Tri uh, uh, a pterodactyl with a um, Tyrannosaurus head, so, you know, that.
no blockers. I'll take it. Problem is, I got this go for the throat here. My turn. I core drinker. Cancel. What can he return? I don't know what that card is, but I don't I don't know. I don't know what that card could be. It's gonna return the, the Seraphim. I put the absolute wrong way. If I would have drawn any other put any other fucking type of removal in this deck, I'd have been fucking perfectly fine. That's the irony here. That's the irony. Anything but fucking go for the throat, I'd have been fucking fine. Um, two blockers. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. Destroy evil might not be bad. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I'm just drawing bad too, but I did not expect a... I didn't expect a fucking, a brand new, uh... Well, I'm dead anyway, so it doesn't matter. I did not expect a an artifact deck. I mean, it's just the last thing that I planned for. And he just scraped it by with this fucking machine here. I don't even think in terms of artifact decks, to be honest. I just don't even consider them. Like, it's the last thing on my list of, of what to consider. Uh, yeah, any other form of removal, I would have been fine. This thing perpetually brings artifacts back. Uh, as long as you feed artifacts to it. So, that's pretty cool. I didn't even look at that. Because, I, like I said, I don't even fucking look at artifacts. I don't even care. Um... Yeah, I don't. It's just not interesting to me at all. And this guy is still fucking terrified. He's so scared. He's playing so fucking frightened right now. Bro, have some balls, man. Nut up. Swing in. There you go. It took you took you a fucking art a f fucking hour, but you got there. Um Yeah, any other removal but entirely artifacts. I I, I as I was building the deck, I picked the absolute wrong thing to put. Uh, I think that enchantment removal is probably the best thing going. Yeah, it, it, in the four drop game, man, here's the thing, like, he doesn't need to activate, so even if you have a killer hand, or a killer board state, he drops, and you hit somebody for 10, and then, boom, he's down to 20, he's negative 20, like... He doesn't, he doesn't like, when he attacks, he goes off. No. As long as he, they've lost that life, they lose double life. He's Even if he has summoning sickness. So, extremely effective just off the play. You know what I mean? Just off the gun, he's powerful. 
which is uh, extremely useful. Six in the IP. Okay. All right. Vanguard. Uh oh. We have Merfolk. I wish I didn't hate Simic so much, because the Merfolk deck looks fun. Maybe I'll add black into it. I think that's probably what I'll do. I'll add black into it. I'll run Sultai Merfolk. Because there is the there, there's a couple of black Merfolk or mixed Merfolk, which is cool. But the fact that the and this is not this is not a thing. Back in the day, I used to run Simic Merfolk. It was the only it was a creature based deck, and it was the only really one that I enjoyed. I can seriously say, when I used to play Simic, it was the only one that I really enjoyed before Simic turned into shit. Um, and really, green isn't the problem. Blue is. Um, oh yeah, Rakdos aggro four a four drop bomb. Yeah, he goes at anything. The tricky thing with him and Rakdos is you're going to have to have some treasure because he needs the... He is very black hungry. He needs three black, so... Um, dinosaur, okay. Get up, get up, get on the floor. Everybody do the dinosaur. Boof, boof, boof. Let's do that. Boof, boof. All right. Priest of the Schism. Scoundrel. My turn. Boom. Let's say. turn he's gonna descend uh okay fine yeah i can put down preacher and Vran. Look at this silly guy, huh? It's gonna be real hard not buying these cosmetics, man. They're really, they're really getting me. It's gonna be a struggle. Awesome, man. You can take over for me. I'm about to. Yeah, I've been doing it for how long? My uptime? I'm over three hours. This is probably the longest I've streamed in a while. It should tell you how much I'm enjoying it by the fact that this is like one of the longest I've ever streamed. And I'm not even. Like, the reason I have to stop is because I have to go meet Snow for dinner. <laughs> like, that's the reason that I have to stop streaming. Not because not I want to. There's a lot of fun games. Ooh, a animal. That's terrible to hear that, man. I'm also really wired on caffeine, so that also... I am wired on caffeine. That's also a big help. Throne of the Grim Camped in. Create a trading token. Emperor tries it. If you descended this turn, my turn. Oh, 
Fran. Boop. Deals X. Target opponent or battle. Boom. Mail two cards, very nice. Dun, 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 uh, preacher of the schism. I think I can get him with Preacher of the Schism. Because I'll be able to sacrifice somebody to Vanguard, which will trigger Vran. What's for dinner? I don't know. I think we're probably just going to grab a burger. Snow started her new job, so she's been super busy with training and um, everything else, so I haven't been able to see her as much, because she's been getting up early and staying at work late, so, but mostly, uh, this week I've just been kind of seeing her for an hour or two after work. Dun, 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 dun. But as soon as training's over, she'll have a regular schedule, so. But I think we're just gonna grab a burger or a sandwich or something. Yeah, she got a manager position somewhere. She got a supervisor position. So that's really cool. Uh, it's good stuff. Craft. Throne of the Grim Captain, what does that do? It creates the Grim Captain. Oh, okay. It creates the Grim Captain. That sucks. I'm going to miss him by one point, unfortunately. Um before he's able to do this psycho shit here. Because uh, he's got lifelink. If he didn't have lifelink, it'd be... Uh... Damn. So if I do a Yara... Three. I can do three... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Cancel. Ooh, so close. Mm. So close. No attacks. Very close. Having a good run here. Maybe he'll overcommit, but I still think the... A couple of cards would save us on the back end. Sacrifice a non-land permanent. It's gotta be... It's gotta be Rose, man. 
the Grim Captain. Still had a pretty good win run here, though, overall, I'd have to say. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. He messed up. Oh, my God. Vran coming in for the save. Oh, my goodness. Vran coming in for... I, I completely forgot. Oh, my God. And this hype. 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 Vran coming in for the save. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Vran coming in for the freaking last minute save. I didn't even see it. Out of nowhere, he comes in with a steel chair. Oh my goodness. Oh, Vran with the steel chair. <laughs> he could have not attacked. No, he was screwed no matter what. Yeah, no matter what he killed. Vran triggers. I forgot that. Faint of hearts. Hey, what's up, Faint of hearts? He triggers on even he refreshes each turn not just my turn i was thinking he only works on my turn he works on every turn oh ran my dude for real though man ran my dude for real woof hell of a run right there guys undefeated by the way i think that was six in a row undefeated the new vampires Vito freaking lives here bros um good stuff man good stuff let me get a copy of that deck before it goes wild there. Oh, okay. Um, all right, guys. Good stuff. Oppo got greedy, yeah. Um, I think, let's see. How are we looking right here? Uh, we've done three and a half hours. Um, uh, Trex, you're here now? Are you watching, Trex? We're going to stop with, leave Vampires right there for the time being. They did us a good job. Really got them locked in. Really happy with how they turned out. Um, so, thank you for watching that, Vampires. That's fantastic. I've been Jay Villain. You've been great.